I don't normally like the TV on, but it's still nice to have one. There we go. There's our TV. And it doesn't take up any space in the van as such because when we don't want to put it on, simply hide it out of the way. And now it disappeared. What TV? So we don't tend to normally have the TV on at all really. I think we've used it once or twice so far just just to pass the time away um, and that was mainly when we was traveling of an evening put it on for the kids because it was about 11 o'clock at night and we just got to our place for the night so we just put it on while we was sorting everything out so it's nice to have one in and it's even better that it's out of the way uh, as you've seen just it's in the wall so I'll show you now how I did it that's for the hideaway TV. So there we go, we've got the hooks, which hold it up in place, and the TV, got um, I'll add a link to it, uh, it's just a cheap TV mount for the wall, um, and this section here, there was another one on it as well, because of how big that was, it wasn't workable in any way in the van it was going to be too much of a pain so i took the second section off and then added the tv bracket to this one which made it fit perfect in there um we keep the lead in there full time which is for uh to connect our phones and stuff to it so you can stream things direct from the phone um we use the fire stick as well because the fire stick runs off this and we can plug it in 12 volt which is good uh, the fire stick on there we've got all the movie channels or movies and box sets and stuff like that if you're interested in that drop me a message um so yeah that stays in there permanently we've got an aerial uh connected so for free view channels and stuff it'll work off there as well not that we use it because we'll just use the fire stick and that goes away and simply lock it that is pretty much self-explanatory it's basically the back of here that is pretty much as far back as i can go to the shell of the van um it is insulated and what i used on there was a dodo thermo liner and what that is it's an insulation and a sound deadener in one quite expensive but it helps keep places such as there and also use them in the roof above the bulkhead just so you've got more space for storage and stuff that was more important for me so here's the bracket and what I've done is along the van the actual shell of the van along there and along here I've ran some support beams and then I simply added wood to the support beams same again here I've extended it out and then I just carpeted the whole lot so it wasn't on show and looked a bit tidier. But I've literally gone into the support beams that I've put on and then screwed the TV mains onto them. It's made it so much easier. 
I was hoping to try and have it set back more, but here is one of the main uh, frames on the, the the panel of the van. So that is as far as I could go. I didn't want to come any further out because I didn't want to take up any more kitchen space. But as you can see, it's flush along the edge. I can't go back any further and it's worked out well. Simple and easy. So that is how we've done it. Um, our TV isn't a camper van TV. It was a 12 volt TV, DVD combi off Facebook Marketplace and it cost me £25. So you don't necessarily need to go out and buy camper van TV, which will cost you a few hundred pound. There's no point, it's expensive. There is a lot of TVs on the marketplace which you can use and if you check the, the cable leads on them, if there's a black power box along the lead, then that means you can cut off that black box and convert it to 12 volts uh, to use in the van because all that box is doing is converting it from 12 volts to 240 volts to plug in. Don't need it. So simply cut that off. Hey presto, you've got yourself a camper van TV. One hell of a lot cheaper. They're normally going from anything from £10 to £30. Some might not have a remote, just buy a universal remote if at worst case. But you do not necessarily need to pay extortionate prices for the camper van TVs. In the last van we did have uh, a projector. Um, was good, we used to run it across the back doors and we had the whole back area as a TV. Perfect for the kids who were sleeping at the other end of the van because they could see down and it was perfect. Us here, it was in our face, it was too blurry, wasn't the best. We do keep the projector now because we'll use that in our awning. We set it up and we project the fire stick to the side of the awning, which is good because then people are walking past wondering what the hell we're watching because they can see it. So it is good. But as a TV in the van on a budget, I do recommend that idea. Um, as I said, I will add links to everything that I've used and I'll put them in the bottom. So I do hope this video has helped. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please feel free to subscribe. And I shall see you on the next video.